Hello everyone. Today's topic is operator new and operator delete. What do they do and how to overload them? Let's start with the basic. I'm creating a dog on the heap. Now exactly what would happen as a result of this code? There are three things that would happen and they happen in a fixed order. Step one, the operator new, this guy, will be called to allocate memory for dog. Step two, the dog constructor, this guy, is called to create a dog. Step three, which is optional, if step two, dog constructor, throws an exception, call the operator delete to free the memory allocated in step one. However, if the step one operator new throws the exception, the operator delete will not be invoked to free the memory because C++ will assume the allocation of memory has not been successful. So you need to keep that in mind when you write your own operator new. Delete PD will do the opposite thing. The docs destructor is called to destruct doc and step 2 operator delete is called to free the memory. This is a simplified version of operator new that I use to demonstrate what the standard operator new typically does. Before going to the details, let me introduce new handler. New handler is a function that's invoked when the operator new failed to allocate memory. By default, the new handler is a null pointer, which means there's no new handler but you can always set a new handler with the set new handler function. Set new handler function not only installs a new handler, it also returns the old new handler or the current new handler. Now let's look at the operator new. Operator new takes one parameter which is the size of the memory to be allocated and it throws a bad alloc exceptions. Inside operator new there's an infinite loop. Inside of the loop the first thing it does is to allocate a memory of this size. If the memory allocation is successful then it returns the memory and it's done. Mission complete. If the memory allocation is not successful and then it will fetch the current new handler and check if the new handler is now. If it is not now, uh, invoke the new handler function. After that, go back to the loop and try to allocate memory again. So you, mi you might have guessed the purpose of the new handler is to make more memory available so that next round of uh, memory allocation could be successful. If the handler is a null pointer, which means there's nothing I can do to free the memory, then it will just throw a bad alloc exception. These are the things that a standard operator new typically does. You can overload the operator new to do whatever things that you want to do but it is generally a good practice to follow the same format of the standard operator new, such as a wire loop, a bad alloc exceptions. You may have noticed that, that here we are defining a global operator new. Um, Sometimes you don't want to overload the global operator new, you only want to op overload the operator new for your own class. And here we are defining a member operator new for our class dog. And the op member operator new also takes the one parameter of size and also throws a bad alloc uh, exceptions. And inside the operator new I call a function custom new for dog which creates a size, uh, this size of memory for dog. Now I have a yellow dog which is derived from dog and in the main function I create a new yellow dog on the heap. Now do you smell any problem from this code? 
The dog's operator new is a public function. That means it will be inherited by its child, yellow dog. So when I create a yellow dog on the heap, it will actually call the dog's operator new, not the standard operator new. As a result, I'll be calling customer new for dog to allocate a memory for yellow dog, which may or may not be what, what I have in mind. Now suppose I don't want that, uh, what can I do? Creating a new yellow dog invokes the dog's operator new, however what parameter will be passed to the dog's operator new? Will be the dog's size or the yellow dog's size? Fortunately, it's the yellow dog's size. So inside the operator new for dog, I could do some check based on that. If the size of uh, the size is equal to dog's size, I'll call the customer new for dog. Otherwise, I'll call the standard operator new. for yellow dog. So this is one solution. Another solution is uh, um, since I'm defining a customized operator new for dog, maybe I could I want to define a customized new for yellow dog too. So that's a second solution. Now let's look at uh, operator delete. An operator delete takes one parameter with, which is a pointer to the memory to be deleted and it is not supposed to throw any exceptions. Here I've overloaded the operator delete for dog and overloaded the operator delete for yellow dog. So the problem of the previous example will not exist here. In the main function I create a new yellow dog on the heap and assigns pointer to a dog's pointer pd and later on I delete pd. Do you see any problem with this code? When I delete pd, which operator delete will be invoked? That's right, it's the dog's operator delete will be invoked. So I end up using the dog's operator delete to deallocate de the memory that's being allocated for yellow dog, which smells trouble. So what can I do? You may immediately suggest that making the operator delete a virtual function. Then the correct operator delete will be invoked, right? This is certainly will not work. You cannot define a function to be both virtual and static. Because um, a function being static specifies the behavior of the class. It, has, it is not directly tied to the object. And a function being virtual specifies the behavior of the object. So static and virtual belong to two different worlds. That is why it is forbidden in C++ to define a function to be both virtual and static. Then what's our solution? If you remember our previous session, we've talked about that if a class is meant to be used polymorphically, it should have a virtual destructor. That rule applies here also we need to define a virtual destructor for dog. Even though the virtual destructor doesn't do anything, now when I delete PD, it will invoke the yellow dog's destructor and magically invoke the yellow dog's operator delete. Now let's talk about why and when do we want to customize new and delete. Here I list some of the uh, scenarios when uh, you want to customize new and delete, but this is far from a complete list. First category is a usage error detection. 
for example, uh, memory leak. If I keep a, in the operator new, I keep a record of all the memory being allocated, and in the operator delete, I remove the memory from the record. I will have a, a list of the memory being uh, leaked, and possibly I can also implement my own garbage collection mechanism. Array index overrun and underrun. Um, in the operator new, if I uh, assign a special signature to the first item of an array and another signature to the last item of the array, then I will be able to detect array overrun and underrun. Improve efficiency. I could clustering related objects to the same place and to reduce the page fault. I could use fixed size allocation, which is good for application with many small objects. I could use uh, uh, I could align similar size objects to the same place to reduce memory fragmentation. The third category is performing uh, additional tasks. If my program is dealing with high security information, it is a good idea to fill the deallocated memory with zeros to prevent those information to be leaked to the outside world. Um, lastly, I could use the operator new to collect the usage statics of the memory. For example, uh, what's the average size of uh, uh, dynamically allocated uh, memory? what's the biggest size of the memory, mm, how often the memory allocation is performed, etc. The last thing to keep in mind is it is easy to write an operator new and operator delete that works, but it is very hard to write a good memory manager. So before you start off writing your own version of new and delete, you have, there are two alternatives you can consider. Number one, tweak your compiler to what you need. Read your compiler's document carefully and see if there is something you can use that the compiler already provides. The second option is search the web for a memory management library. There are many good memory management library out there. For example, the poor library from Boost. If the two alternatives doesn't work for you, then it's a time for you to write your own version of the new and delete. All right, this wraps up our topic with the new and delete. Bye bye, and see you next time.